What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I came across some really disturbing information this weekend. How many of you all live in Colorado? Let me know down in the comments below. But don't get me wrong, this information does not just affect people in Colorado. It affects everyone in the United States and possibly the entire world, but especially the people of Colorado. Now, if you're from Colorado or if you live in Colorado, let me know if you knew about this or not, but apparently they're getting ready to build a new bat lab in Colorado where they will study crazy diseases and viruses. These people are literally importing bats from across the entire world. And they're bringing them to Colorado so they can inject them with deadly diseases and viruses so they can do these little studies on them. Now, where have we heard something like that before? Hmm? Hmm? We've heard about these type of labs before. I mean, wasn't it, you know, uh, isn't it a, a huge possibility that a certain disease that we all, a certain virus that we all had to deal with, that we had to shut down the whole world for, isn't it a strong poss possibility that it came from a lab like this? But here's the scariest part. The location of this lab is not in some super top secret spot in Colorado. It's smack dab right in the middle of an area where tons of people live. And of course, the usual suspects, <coughs> Fauci, <coughs> Fauci, the usual suspects are behind this. I want to go ahead and dive right into this information and let's, you know, find out what the heck is going on here. The NIH granted Colorado State University $6.7 million to build a new bat lab. The 14,000 square foot facility could study some of the most transmissible pathogens in the world. A new taxpayer-funded lab is being built in Colorado that will import bats from around the world and experiment on dangerous diseases. The multi-million dollar project is a collaboration between Dr. Fauci's old department at the National Institute of Health, Colorado State University, and EcoHealth Alliance a controversial research group at the center of the beer bug lab leak theory. Proposals seen by this website show how the 14,000 square foot facility could store and study some of the most transmissible pathogens on the planet, including Ebola, the Nipah virus, and the beer bug. Researchers behind the plans said the lab will boost America's ability to study the role of bats in disease transmission and help us become even stronger in researching emerging zoonotic pathogens. The facility will be built on the CSU's Foothill campus, campus in Fort Collins, which is around 60 miles north of Denver, and has a population of around 168,000 people. Fort Collins residents have already voiced their concerns over its construction at planning committee meetings. They fear the lab could spread diseases like the beer bug and spark another pandemic. The lab is proposed to import house, breed, and experiment on dozens to hundreds of bats. On CSU's website for the lab, it lists the facility as a biosafety level two research center. BSL2 labs work with pathogens associated with human disease that pose a moderate health hazard, such as hepatitis, HIV, and salmonella. However, documents reveal that scientists wanted to infect bats with the beer bug, Ebola, and the Nipah virus. A document submitted by CSU researchers in December 2022 20, states, we will infect horseshoe bats with SARS-CoV-2 
CoV-2 and SARS-CoV detected in these bats. So <laughs> there's so many buzzwords within this um, information that I'm not supposed to say on YouTube. In fact, I'm probably not supposed to be making this video right now at all. And I would be surprised if you're even allowed to see it. But if you're allowed to see it, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so via Super Thanks. People ask me, how can they support my channel all the time? I don't have PayPal. PayPal has been really shady, but you can drop a Super Thanks. I'm sure that YouTube will do whatever they can to make sure that this video does not spread far and wide. But is this not disturbing information? Why, after what happened a couple of years ago, why would they want to do this now? And as you heard, they're already kind of being shady. They're claiming, oh, we're not going to do, we're not going to do tests on this. We're not going to do that. Yet when you look at their actual website and you read through the documents, they're saying something totally different. So yes, this lab is going to gather bats from across the world, some of which are already infected with deadly unknown diseases, the rest of which will be healthy, but not for long. Because when these bats reach it to this facility or make it to this facility, they're going to inject them with God knows what. And in a couple of years from now, when we're all on lockdown again and people wonder why, I want you all to remember this story. Remember this story. Because I am tired of these weirdos playing around with these diseases in their little labs. And they always say, oh, we're just trying to make sure that we got the right meds that you need for the next pandemic. No, you're basically just trying to figure out what diseases you can use to spread throughout the world as your little bioweapons. OK, you think that they do this research in the name of good? No. If they were doing research in the name of good, we would have a cure for AIDS. We would have a cure for cancer. We would have a cure for anything you can think of. This is not about finding a cure to a virus that they don't even know exists yet. When you see these studies going on, I can guarantee you. And this doesn't just, this, this has to go to do with anything. Any new technology, any new studies out there, period. The first priority is always how can we use this as a weapon? How can we use this for our military? How can we use this to take people out? And that has to do with everything. Any new technology developed, the first thing they worry about is how can we use this for military or, 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 or for military purposes? Militarily. Those are words that are really hard to say when you're trying to talk fast. But yeah, that's obviously, uh, let me walk that back. I'm not going to say that's obviously what's happening here. <clears throat> but most of the time when you see, oh, we're, we're trying to, to figure out new ways to improve AI. We're trying to figure out what diseases do this. We're trying to build this new machine that does this. Nine times out of ten, it's initially created to basically be used for military purposes. That's where all of the funding comes from. They don't get funding because a bunch of nerds want to sit around and poke bats with needles. They get funding because higher ups realize, oh, we could use this for our agendas. Do you think the rich and powerful people running this world give a damn about bats? No, they don't. And the same thing goes with AI. The same thing goes with all of these new machines, all of this stuff that's being created. Before it reaches the mass market where me and you may buy a product, before that happens, these products are tested and, and, and they're used for other purposes. The reason that a lot of these groups get funding, it's not for the purposes that you think. They get funding for other purposes. Now, you could have a scientist that really wants to study diseases, right? 
but he can't get funding from anyone. And finally, he gets funding, but funding is not coming from the place that he necessarily wants it to come from, but it's a necessary evil so he can do his research. So sometimes you have scientists working on these viruses that, that are really in it for the right reasons. They really do want to develop new, we uh, new weapons, new medicines and things like that. But the reality is the money that they're using to do these tests and the reason that these tests are even able to happen in the first place is because you got shady people funding them that hijack this stuff. You know what I mean? It, it's complicated, but if you know, you know, and I'm sure most of you all know exactly what I'm talking about here. But yeah, here we are in the year of 2023. We're going into 2024. People are still walking around, driving around in their cars by themselves with masks on. A lot of people are still afraid to live their daily lives because of what happened a few years ago. And now we're like, oh, you know, those those lab leaks, those lab leak theories, you know, those crazy labs over in Wuhan. How about we build one of them right here in Colorado around 168,000 people and hope that nothing goes wrong. And oh, we're gonna hire a bunch of diversity hires. We're not going to hire the people most qualified to work on these viruses. We gotta make sure they're diverse we got to hire a bunch of people who aren't even qualified for the job, just like we're doing with everything else in America right now. So I expect that this will be a complete disaster catastrophe eventually. If fully educated people who know what they're doing accidentally leaked something out of a lab in China, what do you think is going to happen to a bunch of dumbasses in America who don't even have the proper training or education to do what they're doing, but because they, they checked a few diversity boxes, now all of a sudden they're sitting in a lab working with diseases that could possibly cause the next pandemic that would infect and kill people all around the world. But because, oh, you're a certain sexuality, a certain race, a certain gender, maybe you like to dress up as a unicorn and pretend you're a horse, we're gonna give you the job. That's how America works now. So when you see things like this, always understand that the reason it's even more concerning is because in America right now, we are purposely not hiring the most qualified people for the jobs. That's one of the reasons why I think we're seeing all of this crazy stuff happen throughout the country. We're watching things blow up, things catch on fire, trains derail. And, you know, I think part of it is that America is destroying itself from within, but a, a lot of it is due to incompetence. So I don't expect that the most competent people for the job will be working in this Colorado facility. So hopefully nothing bad happens, but it's a recipe for disaster. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, though. Like I said, if you want to support the channel, you can do so via Super Thanks, or you can support my channel for free by sharing this video, hitting that like button, subscribing, ringing that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.